What's going on, Tactical Gamers? It's Tacti. Now, every week, World War III releases their weekly update, and this week, it talked about the new movements. We've all been waiting for a new animation system, new movement system, and so this update gave us a little insight into what's to come, a little sneak peek. So it's not here yet, it's not on the PTE as of recording this, but it is soon to come. So this video is just going to be comparing this current animation system to the new animations and see what we have to look forward to, see how things have changed and been refined, and see if you like it. Personally, my initial reaction to these movements is that it makes things appear much smoother. It provides a much more refined experience. Now I know I say that in almost all my videos, but that's pretty much because the game has a lot of refining to do. Uh, they're inching their way closer and closer, and so I'm really enjoying how these animations look. Now as far as the game goes, as far as if this is going to change a, a player base or not, who knows? This game is going to need a lot of work and a lot of changes to, to bring people back. So hopefully this will be one of them. We'll just have to see on that front. But let's take a look at the videos. I'll show you the before and after and, and we'll see how that looks. So we're going to take a look at this first video, which shows the different positions and the different movements to these positions. The old animations not only take a little bit longer to swap the weapons, but it also sort of just brings the weapon to the middle of the screen. The new animation seems to bring the weapon up from a hanging position and straight down as if it were on their back. Moving back and forth, you can see that there's been a slight increase in the sway of the weapons, with a more inertia effect to it, meaning the weapon continues to sway in the direction that you were moving before it switches directions. Now first thing I notice about the crouch is that there's no clipping. The old crouch here with the M417 anyway has a lot of clipping while holding onto the foregrip. Your thumb is, well, gone. In the new crouch, however, the character is holding onto the magwell. Now, that's not exactly realistic as far as a soldier thing to do, at least in my professional career of YouTube searches, but it does get rid of the clipping and it doesn't affect my recoil, so I'm fine with that. Now going prone shows a neat animation of the soldier bringing his hand to the ground to stabilize himself instead of just the old belly flopping onto the hard ground the old way. That's a good way to get the wind knocked out of you folks. Standing up from prone again is much smoother and the soldier stabilizes himself with his hand as he stands up. And while you're in prone and you turn quickly your rifle comes up and around instead of the old method of just a straight path to aiming to the opposite side. Now we'll take a look at the new ADS animation. The new ADS system will provide much more of a blur to the weapon while you're aiming down at the target. This doesn't do a whole lot, but it makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, as this is sort of what happens when you aim down sights. You become focused on the object in the sight, and everything else becomes more blurred. Moving on, they've also slightly tweaked the slide mechanic. Next, let's talk about some of my favorite things being added, specifically the sprinting animations. There are a couple different things that I really enjoy about the new sprint animations. First of all, you can see your weapon in both crouch sprint and standing sprint. While this may not be as realistic as some would like, as you have to hold your gun awkwardly in order to see it in your view while you're actually running in real life, it does add a feeling to the game that you're actually running instead of just feeling like you're floating. If there's nothing on the screen and you're just moving across the screen, it almost feels like you're just floating across the screen. And, and I'm not a big fan of that. I, I think that the gun adds much more immersion even though it's not a realistic way to run. They've also added this cool feature, and I think this feature is going to be added into a lot of games from here on out, the tactical sprint. Just a faster run for a shorter distance. Now the first game that I played with this feature is Ground Branch, and that's a highly recommended game of mine. Definitely go pick that up and try it out. And now the new Call of Duty has implemented it into the game. So I think this is going to be a feature that will make its rounds in modern games from here on out. And that being said, it looks really nice in this game. It looks like it's going to be a nice addition, and I really hope they add a more close quarters style of gameplay because I think that this is where this mechanic really thrives. I think it's good for close quarters, getting to a position quick, and holding an angle. So hopefully that comes to the game as well. Now they've added a new vault mechanic. Again, it's a lot like Modern Warfare, and I think it was much, much needed. Vaulting was always so clunky and took so long, and this just adds some smoothness to it. It feels like your soldier doesn't lose his bearings as easily. Along with that vault, they're going to add a vault slide mechanic so you can vault slide across those shorter objects. You can use it to be smooth and pick up the ladies like this guy. Hey. 
and finally they're going to be re-adding the beloved Tor back into the game. This is a new class, it's going to be the AMR class, or the Anti-Material Rifle. And as of now, it looks like you're only going to be able to use these rifles while you're prone. I would assume a few more are coming, Barrett 50 cal, stuff like that. But you can only use it while prone, it's going to be a one-shot kill to infantry, it looks like. However, your mobility is going to go way down because you can't shoot it unless you're prone. So that's what we've got so far. There are a lot of nice things that are coming to the World War III scene. They still need to address things like clunky reloads, equipment use, more clipping, flip up sights. And I'm sure these movements here are going to need to refine a bit as well. But so far, it, it looks really good. They have put out a video with all the movements on an obstacle course, so I'll link that down below instead of just put that in the video. And that's about it for this video and the new movement system. That's all we know so far. More information will come as I know more. So feel free to give it a like if you like this video. Feel free to subscribe. I'm almost at 400. I'd love to hit 400 by the end of the year here. And I'd love to hit 1,000 soon. So again, subscribe. Comment down below. Is this going to bring you back? Is it going to make you hop into the game again and, and see how it feels? Or do you think this game is toast? Alright guys, that's about it. Take care.